to live in Leeds, where in Leeds? It's like I was saying to someone before, it's like I don't actually live in Leeds. I always say Leeds because it's the closest city that a lot of people know. Um, it's actually um, closer to Bradford, a place called Dewsbury, well, Batley actually. Batley, which is close to Bradford, which is close to Leeds. <laughs> Curse you, Liam. Sorry, Sakichi. Did you say something else again, man? It's just it just fucking flies down. Does the list of um, chat stuff? I just keep spotting random things from time to time. OTG, why do you want a PS3? I'm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I ain't. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn. No, I'll, to be fair, I will turn slow mode on. But I've got to go in like a minute, two minutes. So I'll, I'll answer a couple more shit, and then I'll um, get off and get some sleep. But what am I gonna say now? Oh yeah, why do you want a PS3? Um, I've always enjoyed my PlayStations. PlayStation One was fucking awesome. PlayStation Two was fucking great. And PS3's had a rocky start, but it's kind of down to Sony's marketing strategy, really. They they kind of going for the um the old ten year fucking thing with the PS3, and they'll do it. To think that. Um, so the PS3 won't come out on top in the end is um, I don't know I, I, won't, I won't say incorrect but I would say like if you're going to place bets I won't fucking I won't put your money against Sony they always come out on top in the end they have done since PS1 and I don't, I don't think fucking we man we Nintendo's got no chance of toppling Sony it's just well maybe with DS and stuff like that but the problem with fucking Nintendo is they're not fucking growing up. Just sticking with kids and not growing up with rest of fucking games and stuff like that, which is um, a little bit of a poor marketing strategy, but whatever. Microsoft actually will probably. I thought. Oh, sorry, Mark and Mike then. Um, I always thought that the Xbox 360 was going to crash and burn at some point this year, but I don't think it actually is now because of the uh, the online Xbox Live is totally. Um, si- saved the 360 really so um yeah I think 360 is going to stay alright actually but like I say I can, I've always liked my Playstations and Playstation 3 it's good now but like I say give it another fucking couple of years and stuff like that and it will definitely be fucking awesome so um yeah I definitely want a PS3 at some point the plus Plus the fact that fucking developers are getting a little bit wonky now over um, doing games for PC. Oh, they're just going to pirate it and stuff like that. It's like, well, yeah, there's no stopping somebody that's really determined to pirate PS3 games or Xbox games or Wii games, so I don't know really what the fucking big issue is. Yeah, it's a, l- well, a fair bit easier to pirate on the PC, but still, PC ain't going nowhere. So even if I do get a PlayStation or fucking... Uh, to be honest, I've already got a Wii. I'll be getting a, um, a 360, well, actually, I, don't know about, I might get a 360 at some point, but I'll definitely be getting a PS3 at some point, so, and even when I've got them all, I'll still be a PC gamer primarily, I, I have been since that fucking, for the last 16 years, primarily a PC gamer, I always will be. Fatal Frame, Fear 2, Fear 2 and um, Half-Life and Half-Life 2, they're definitely getting done. Fatal Frame... If I could get my PS2 to fucking work, I would do Fail Frame. Fail Frame's a re- really fucking good games, actually. Fail Frame 1 and 2. Definitely. What do you think of Bioshock 2 from what you've seen? Bioshock 2 looks alright, actually. It kind of looks like more of the same, which, depending on your take on Bioshock, can be either good or bad. Personally, I thought Bioshock were fucking sweet. A little bit weird, actually. Because it's like... I mean, I was a little bit surprised when I first started playing Bioshock, because I always thought Bioshock was a straight-up first-person game with RPG elements kind of, like, tacked on. But it's not really. It's more like RPG with a little bit of FPS tacked on. It's it's kind of weird, really. Or it's 50-50 at best, which is different to... I, I thought it was, like, 80% first-person game, 20% like little shit on side, you know, little RPG elements, but it's not really. It's more like half and half. So, um... Yeah, I'm looking forward to Bioshock 2. It'll be good. Like I say, more same, you can't go wrong, really. OTG, how are you liking Prototype? 
Prototype's got kind of like mixed reviews from what I've seen. Some people fucking love it, some people fucking hate it. Personally, I, I really like Prototype. I could never advance a story at all. And I, but I could still run around that fucking city with fucking Alex and have a fucking blast. I really do fucking like um, Prototype. Just for the sake of pissing around and doing it. I, see, I like all my trick jumping stuff and it just it looks so nice to run and jump around in um, Prototype. It just it floats my boat. It really fucking does. So, um, yeah, I actually do like Prototype. Will you do a fail through of Prototype? I will indeed. There's no doubts whatsoever about that. I will be doing Prototype sooner rather than later. You should browse some lovely mods for Bloom if I give up on it. Might be an idea. It might be an idea. Like I say, if I get that skill diary thing, it might make it a bit easier and stuff like that, but I don't know. I'll have to see how it goes. I'll have to see how it goes. It's like I say, I almost regret fucking taking heavy armor and shit now. Because I may as well have fucking not bothered. And it made it easier to level. Ah, fuck it. I've had it. <laughs> That's enough for that tonight. Enough fucking oblivion, heavy armor, fucking gains, plus five, plus five, plus five. I'm gonna, I swear to God, I'm off to bed at next half an hour. I'm gonna have fucking nightmares about plus five, plus five, plus five. Ever gonna do a live game of Warsaw? Indeed, actually, I've got plans in the next week to start organising some um, Warsaw games and stuff like that again, so, some community games. So yeah, sometime soon, dude, sometime soon. Ever tried System Shock or Condemned? I did play System Shock 2, uh, I've not played Condemned, but I've watched a little bit of it, and it looks alright to me, does Condemned, so, um... OCG, how come you didn't friend me on Steam? I can't play SF4 with you now. I've not been on Steam in a while, dude. So, uh, like, probably about a week and a half or more, so if you sent me a friend request any time, like, then I've, um, I've not been on there to accept anything. Rest assured that when I do get back on Steam, I will accept. Hey, OCG, you still have the towards Crucifix? I always will. Crucifix, Nemesis, Create Boss, and the Oblivion Leveling System. The Scourge of the HGSF. <laughs> oh, did you watch your Steam name? It's um, Over the Gun. You fire it in there, and if you check out my profile, you'll know. I don't think there's any other Over the Guns, but Over the Gun, you'll definitely find me. Lewis doesn't make the cut. Lewis is damn close to making the cut, actually. Lewis is what fucking lamed me out in Left 4 Dead. It proper did. But he's not quite earned that same level of absolute fury. Well, then again, he did piss me off somewhat harsh. No, I don't, maybe. I guess you could class it on a good day. I won't count Lewis in there. On a bad day, when I'm looking for every fucking HGSF enemy, then yeah, he probably would get in there. Grabbing peels. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Anyway, dudes, like I said, I'm going to go get some sleep and... Um... Oh, shit, I need to upload some stuff to the website as well. Okay, okay then, dudes, I shall... Um, I'll catch you all later. See you guys. Oh, did it opposite way around. Did it opposite way around that time, didn't I? <laughs> See you, dudes.